Let us now discuss how to solve problems involving polynomials, polynomial equations, and polynomial equate functions. Let us start with example number 1. If 120 meters of fencing is to be used to enclose a rectangular lot, the resulting area of the fence lot is A equals X times the quantity of 60 minus X, where X is the width of the lot. If A is equal to A of X, find A of 2 and A of 40. Now let us solve first for A of 2. A of 2 means X is equal to 2. That means the width of the lot is 2 meters. To determine the area of the lot when the width is 2 meters, we are going to use the given formula for the area, which is A is equal to X times 60 minus X. Since A is equal to A of X, so we have A of X is equal to X times the quantity of 60 minus X. We are going to substitute the given value of X, which is 2. So we now have A of 2 is equal to 2 times the quantity of 60 minus 2. After that, we are going to subtract 2 from 60. So we have A of 2 is equal to 2 times 58. And then we are going to multiply 2 and 58. So A of 2 is 116. That means the area of the rectangular lot when the width is 2 meters is 116 squared meters. Now let us solve for the area when the width is 40 meters. So A of 40 means X is equal to 40. For the width of the lot is 40 meters. To determine the area of the lot when the width is 40 meters, we are going to use the same formula. So we have A of X is equal to X times 60 minus X. Substitute 40 to X, so we have A of 40 is equal to 40 times the quantity of 60 minus 40. A of 40 now is equal to 40 times 20. Multiply 40 and 20, we get 800. It means that the area of the rectangular lot when the width is 40 meters is 800 squared meters. Let us now proceed to example number 2. A rectangle with a length of x plus 5 has an area of 4x raised to 4 minus 4x cubed minus 85x squared plus 163x minus 60 squared meters. We are going to write a polynomial that represents its width. Now to solve the problem, we are going to illustrate first. So this is the rectangle with the given width rather with a given length and a given area. Now since the area of the rectangle is given by A equals length times width, therefore the width is equal to A over L. Now we are going to substitute the given values. So W is equal to 4x raised to 4 minus 4x cubed minus 85x squared, plus 163x minus 60, all over x plus 5. Now, using synthetic division, we are going to divide the two polynomials. By the way, you can also use long division. So, we are going to write first the numerical coefficients of the dividend. We have 4, negative 4, negative 85, 163, and negative 60. The number in the division box is negative 5. So bring down the first number which is 4. 4 times negative 5 is negative 20. Plus negative 4, we have negative 24. Times negative 5, we have 120. Plus negative 85, we have 35. Times negative 5, so we have negative 175. And then added to 163, we have negative 12 times negative 5, so we have 60, so our remainder is equal to 0. Now, the degree of our dividend is 4, and the degree of our divisor is 1. That means the degree of the quotient is 3. Therefore, the width of the rectangle is 4x cubed minus 24x squared 
plus 35x minus 12 meters. Let us now proceed to example number 3. The volume of a rectangular block is 88 cubic inches. The width of the block is twice the height and the length is 9 inches more than the height. Let us determine the polynomial equation that represents the given situation in terms of the height. So let Z equals 88, H equals to the height of the block, W is equal to 2H, and L is equal to H plus 9. Now since the volume of a rectangular block is given by Z equals length times width times height, we are going to substitute the given values. So we have 88 is equal to h plus 9 times 2h times h. Then we are going to simplify. So we have 88 is equal to 2h cubed plus 18h squared. Transpose 88 to the right side of the equation. We now have 0 is equal to 2h cubed plus 18h squared minus 88. Then we are going to divide both sides of the equation by the greatest common factor, which is 2. So we now have the 0 is equal to h cubed plus 9h squared minus 44. The volume of the rectangular block is represented by h cubed plus 9h squared minus 44 equals 0. After that, we are going to find the dimensions of the block. Now using the equation in letter A, we are going to find its roots. Now the possible rational roots of the equation are positive negative 1, positive negative 2, positive negative 4, positive negative 11, positive negative 22, and positive negative 44. So let us try 2. So we have 1, 9, 0, and negative 44. So bring down 1. 1 times 2 is 2. 9 plus 2 is 11. 11 times 2 is 22. 22 plus 0 is 22. 22 times 2 is 44. 44 plus negative 44 is 0. Now since 2 here is the only rational root of the equation that means the height of the rectangular block is 2 inches to determine the length and the width we are going to substitute so the width is twice the height so we have 2 times 2 is equal to 4 on the other hand the length is 9 inches more than the height so we are going to add 2 and 9 so we have 11 the dimensions of the rectangular block are 2 by 4 by 11 inches. Let us now discuss the last example. The length of a rectangular field is 5 feet more than its width. A pathway is constructed around the field with a width of 2 feet. We are going to write a polynomial function that models the area of the field with a pathway in terms of w take note the function should model the area of the field with the pathway in terms of w or in terms of the width now to solve or to write the polynomial function we are going to illustrate first now this is the rectangular field alone so as you can see the width is w and the length is w plus 5 the rectangular field with a pathway is this one on the right side. As you can see, the width of the rectangular field with a pathway is W plus 4 because the width of the field alone is W and then we are going to add 2 feet to the top of the field and 2 feet and another 2 feet to the bottom of the field and then the length of the field with the pathway is w plus 9 because uh, two feet will be added to the right side and another two feet will be added to the left side now since the area of a rectangle is given by a equals length times width 
we are going to substitute the length and the width of the area uh, the length and the width of the field with the pathway rather to the given formula so we have a is equal to w plus 9 times w plus 4 now simplifying the equation we have w squared plus 4w plus 9w plus 36. Then we are going to combine like terms. So we have a is equal to w squared plus 13w plus 36. So the area of the rectangular field with the pathway is a of w is equal to w squared plus 13w plus 36 squared feet. This is in terms of the width. Okay, next, what is the area of the field alone if the rectangular field, including the pathway, has an area of 176 squared feet? Now, to solve for the area of the field alone, we are going to determine first the width because the function in letter A is in terms of the width. Now, since A is equal to 176 and the function is equal to W squared plus 13W plus 36, we are going to substitute 176 to a so 176 is equal to w squared plus 13 w plus 36 transpose 176 to the other side we have 0 is equal to w squared plus 13 w plus 36 minus 176 then we have 0 is equal to w squared plus 13w minus 140. Now, to determine the width of the rectangular field, we are going to solve for the roots of this equation. So, let us determine the possible rational roots. So, we have positive negative 1, positive negative 2, positive negative 4, and so on. Now, after trying the possible rational roots, only two integers gay are identified as the rational roots. So we have the first one. Let us write down first the numerical coefficients of the polynomial equation. So we have 1, 13, and negative 140. So the first root is negative 20. Bring down 1, so 1 times negative 20 is negative 20 plus 13, negative 7. Negative 7 times negative 20 is 140 plus negative 140 is 0. Now, this is one of the roots of the equation. The second root is 7. Now, since we are looking for the width of the rectangular field, negative 20 cannot be the value of the width because it is a negative integer. And we cannot have a negative integer as a length or as a measurement for the length. So that means the width of our rectangular field is 7 feet. So the width of the rectangular field alone is 7 feet. The area is given by w plus w plus 5. Let us substitute 7 to w. So we now have a of 7 is equal to 7 times the quantity of 7 plus 5. Add first 7 and 5. We now have 7 times 12. Then 7 times 12 is 84. That means the area of the rectangular field alone is 84 squared feet. Now it's your turn. Try to answer the activity in what to do. Mm -hmm.